Yo, you are in one. Alright guys, so in this video, I want to talk about mainly everything you need to know about aiming on controller in this game. Okay, so I kind of want to put most of all the stuff that I talk about in this video so that somebody who just watches this video, they can know almost every single thing that you need to know to have almost perfect aim in this game. Because when I do shoot my weapon, I hit almost every single bullet and I have... I have no issue with just controlling that, being able to track people left and right, and that's what gets me the most kills in this game. I focus a lot on aim instead of movement, and then I just have good movement because my aim is already on point, so I don't need to focus on that when I'm moving on people, right? So I'm going to show you guys the best way that you should practice your aim or get good aim, and then on top of that, I'm going to show you like why certain mechanics exist in the game so that you can be able to use that towards your advantage being that you know it. All right, so first thing i do want to say is it does come down to your equipment too of how good you can aim in this game so if i was on like a bad ps4 or something compared to like the pc i have now i can still aim really good because i have a lot of the fundamentals down i know the game i know how it works but i'm not going to be able to aim as good because the input delay is not going to be as fast all right and this is extremely important for recoil control so if i'm just shooting up that's the recoil control and I can't move down as fast when the recoil is going upward because of my input delay if I have really high input delay. So upgrading your equipment is like the number one thing that usually gets people better, whether that's movement, aim, just every single thing. You need to have the best equipment possible to be able to play this game with really good players, right? When you're when you're versing really uh, hard lobbies. So equipment's extremely important and just reducing your input delay, whether that's overclocking your controller, um, getting a monitor or just having a controller that has a uh, fast response time because some controllers like i think it's like xbox controllers you can't overclock them so some things like that aren't going to make you control the recoil or your aim as good so that's the number one thing uh in this game after that before i move on to uh more important things about aiming i am going to show you the most important settings for aiming all right, make sure you have that down. Um, right stick max, this is probably the most important setting that you guys need to have uh, up so that you guys can aim really well. Because as you put this down, your stick's going to be more reactive. So this is how my aim is going to be if I have that down. So it's going to go like this. It's going to be like playing on fast sensitivity, right? So you you you, <laughs> you do not you do not want that. That's why I always say to put it all the way to 100. Because the higher you have it, the more you can be precise with your shots. And I do think that if you put it at 100 over 99, it is a super small difference. But you're gonna get, um, you're gonna get that super small advantage. All right. So keep that there. And then right stick minimum. So you want to have that as low as possible. If you have that up, it does help. Like the aim assist in this game but you're going to be able to control recoil a lot better with right stick minimum all the way down okay so i know i'm going over this based on my other videos but i just want to make sure that the people who haven't watched that they know uh the best settings to use for aim all right sensitivity i am going to show you stuff that works for low sense and high sense it's like universal but overall low sense low sensitivity gives you the most aim assist so if you're playing super low like me the lower you go the more aim assist you get but it could be detrimental because if you're playing all the way at like one you're not going to be able to turn as fast so you want to play as low as you can possibly handle but it doesn't hurt your movement in a bad way all right that's going to give you the most aim assist in this game make you hit a lot of shots um, and I am going to explain a little bit too of another reason why low sensitivity is highly favorable with aim over high sensitivity. All right, so keep that super low. This next part is super important. So I keep mine uh, around one, my ADS sensitivity multiplier. And the reason I do this is because this allows for consistency. All right, I see a lot of players mess this up when they need to have good aim. So if you're playing like 15 15 but you put this at 0. 0.6 well what's going to happen is you have a super fast sense and then when you go to ads it slows down and it knocks off your muscle memory that's why you guys can lock on to players super fast but then you're not able to track them really good because you know you're you're human right your brain is noticing that you're going super fast so it's adjusting with the muscle memory to go up super fast and then once you lock in and slow down it's not your brain doesn't process it fast enough and that's why you can't track people all right so you want to have it around one i highly recommend just one to make sure it's as consistent and smooth as possible with your sensitivity all right and then if it's still too fast on one like you're just looking too fast and can't track people then just lower your lower your horizontal 
horizontal and vertical sensitivity and that will help you adjust to the one sensitivity uh, for the ads all right so that's extremely important for aiming specifically i highly recommend linear just because it allows you to have better recoil control for long range all right dynamic is good for getting the aim assist but linear is the best when it comes to shooting people extremely far away all right a lot of dynamic players they even say that linear is better for far away shots but they like the super fast aim assist up close like that so that's why they play dynamic but linear is proven to have really good recoil control far away and even if you don't have aim assist linear is way better all right so i highly recommend linear right there for aiming ads sensitivity transitioning timing make sure you have that on gradual i am going to explain that a little bit later uh aim assist type i would keep that at default i i don't really mess with black ops and then that is really all the the aiming thing right there like the best things that you need to know for aiming for the most part all right so now that you got that down now that you got like really good settings i am going to go over how to actually aim in this game and what you need to focus on so i have mentioned in my past video before too when you're aiming you have two different types of sensitivities you have your horizontal and vertical right that's like the whole hip fire sensitivity right there and then you also have your ads sensitivity so your horizontal and vertical that's going to speed up super fast and then when you aim in, that's going to slow down. And it's very important to take advantage of both of these sensitivities and use them at the right time. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure that you're using the fast sensitivity to be able to snap onto targets. All right, so if I see somebody on my right, I'm not going to aim and then go in. I'm just going to look fast, snap onto him, and then aim in. All right, so you want to use this for snapping. And the reason that is, is because when you snap onto a target, it's going to touch the person a lot faster and it's going to give you a faster response time to actually kill the person. All right. So we all know that if you look at this guy right here, boom, boom, that kills him a lot faster than going like this. All right. Maybe common sense, but a lot of people still ADS too early and then they're not getting the few shots off and the person can't kill them. Now, another thing you want to do is make sure that you're ADSing right when you touch the person at the chest because you need to use your ADS sensitivity to stay on the target. All right. So think about it like using your hip fire to lock onto the target. Use the ADS to stay on the target because the ADS is super slow. So being that it's slow, as soon as you lock on to the chest, it's going to be slow to go away. It's not going to want to get away from the target because the aim assist is so strong. All right, so the aim assist may be weaker when you are using the hip fire, but it's like weak, and then you locked it in for strong, and now that it's strong, if the person tries to move around and jump, it's not going to be that easy for them to get away from your sight because you locked that into their chest. All right, so going over that again, fast, and then slow. Yep, weak aim assist, strong aim assist. And then even if I, I'm not even going to touch the right stick as soon as I aim into this body, and I'm just going to shoot, right? So boom, and then not touching the right stick. I was able to kill him without even, without even using recoil control. All right, let me try that on the guy all the way in the back, all right? So boom. All right, so like one, two shots. Um, obviously, I can't kill him because I need to actually control the recoil. But just doing that right there is going to give me a huge advantage to stay on the target. All right, so that's the whole process that you need to have. So fast and then slow. And the reason why I say playing uh, gradual too is important is because when you use instant, this ADS sensitivity that's super slow, giving you like that slow aim assist, if you're looking over here and then you press the button, it's going to start activating that slow aim assist right around here. All right. So if this character jumps this way, then it's going to be harder for me to track him over here because I'm using the slow, uh, slow sensitivity and the low, aim, uh, slow aim assist. Right. But if I have gradual, if I press the the aim button over here it's still going to use the fast sensitivity but it's going to transition into the slow one so i'm more likely to hit his chest right there right because i'm using gradual and then if you use after zoom i mean yeah you can do that even even better uh but gradual is a lot more consistent because after zoom snaps in as soon as you're fully zoomed in all right so after zoom still could be pretty good, but I, I recommend gradual. It just like it's a nice transition. It makes it more consistent overall. If you guys struggle with this too, like this this first part of aiming, I would highly suggest playing on one sensitivity right here in the firing range. And you can practice like look at him, aim, shoot. Look at him, 
aim, shoot. Look at him, aim, shoot. And then you can do that with another weapon, so boom. Boom. And then, bam. And if you guys are putting your sensitivity too high to where you can't hit every single bullet onto the characters, that's a sign you need to lower your sensitivity. So moving on to the tracking portion, right? If you want to be able to track players really good, what I just talked about was basically the setup for tracking players. So if this guy's over here and I'm aiming in his sight right here, right here, well, now I'm able to track him easier because like I mentioned, that ADS sensitivity, the, the slower one, is going to be on target easier. So if he's moving, right? It's able to to lock on to him. Obviously, this guy like bumped my aim assist. But if I'm just locking on to him right there and he starts moving, I'm able to track him a lot easier because the slow ADS is actually going to be on his body and it's easier to look left and right. Another thing that I mentioned uh, with tracking, right? I mentioned about the dead zone. The right stick minimum is really good for tracking because it gives you super fast response time so that you can be able to track him super fast in case he makes any movements. All right, so... If you have a bad controller, the best thing to do is to get a better controller that doesn't have stick drift. But um, having this as low as possible, if you play three or five, just have it <laughs> as little po low as possible. Um, that is going to help your tracking way better than if you had it on like 15. All right. So make sure that uh, it's super low as possible. So that's how I, that's really how I track players, right? If someone's coming from the sky, I look at him first with the hip fire sensitivity, aim in. And then once I'm locked onto his body, then it's hard for him to get away from me. So that's the best thing I do right there. Um, another thing with tracking is you want to make sure that you have enough space, right? So if you have clean space over here to where you can track the guy easily, then you can shoot him right there. But if you have some weird angle and you're trying to track him, uh, you might not get as much aim assist because of the wall. And that's the next thing I'm going to talk about as well, too. So there's certain times where you guys can't aim good in this game because you have walls in the way. That could be a head glitch. That could be just walls right here. And the closer you are to a wall, the more it's going to take away your aim assist. So, yeah, there's sometimes it could be extremely important if I hug this wall and aim because I'm using it as cover. But that is also going to give me less aim assist in this game. So if I know people are over there, but they're not going to look at me, what I want to do is create a little bit more space and then aim at him because that's going to give me a lot more aim assist right there. All right. So it's, it's better if I go like this, right? A lot more aim assist than if i hug it so i'm gonna wait till he gets up hug it and i already felt that pull i got less aim assist but i was still able to control it very well because i have a low sensitivity all right so you want to be creating space and opening yourself up so that boom right there and then obviously make sure your character is as like still as possible so that you can be able to hit that shot now i'm going to talk about recoil control all right, somebody asked me before in like my last coaching session, they were like, oh, well, I study recoil patterns. So if he was shooting the weapon, it goes like this, right? So then you want to like, okay, well, let me just copy that pattern so that it doesn't, it doesn't bounce up like that. And I personally don't do that mainly because if you have a super fast response time in this game, then all you need to do is just hold down and adjust it. Boom, right? I have really good recoil control and I don't study this pattern right there at all. All I do is just, I just react to it in the game. Okay. It's super easy when you play on low sensitivity and have really fast controller input. It's super easy right there. So I don't do that at all. Right. You realistically need to just hold down. And if you aim in the middle of the chest, like I mentioned before, if your aim bumps up, it's super easy to put it back down because your aim assist is so strong. You're already on top of his body. All right. So boom. Now, let me try to do that without aim assist so that I can show you what I'm talking about. So over here, I'm going to put this off, right? And now I'm going to try to do the same thing. Well, I guess I could just hit shots extremely well with, with, with that. Okay, so you don't even need aim assist. Having aim assist on top of that just makes it super overpowered. Uh, but you don't even need aim assist if you just follow everything I said right there, right? So, boom. Just put it at the middle of the chest. And they just they just can't escape my line of sight. All right, so um, 
For recoil control, as long as you aim in the middle of the chest and have fast input, you shouldn't have any problem with that unless your gun is absolutely garbage. If your gun is garbage and the recoil is going super high, just don't aim super far away with that gun. Like, you're just not going to hit that shot. All right, that's what I got to say about recoil control in this game. It's not, it's not that complicated as people think. It's just the main reason people... Like the main reason people struggle with that is because they play on PS4 and they don't know why PC players can can have really good recoil control. It's all input delay. That's all it is. Next, I'm going to talk about how you should position yourself when aiming at somebody because some people have asked, oh, well, if I'm aiming at somebody all the way over here, shouldn't I be moving to get like rotational aim assist or should I stand still so that I can be able to hit my shot really good um, and things like that. So I will say this when you are super far away from a person it's probably best to not move that much mainly because if you're super steady and you concentrate on shooting the person um, you're going to be a lot more consistent and actually focus on the recoil control instead of moving and then you have to focus on your strafe speed and stuff like that while shooting at the person and it might be bumpier because look i'm not going to like touch anything except the left stick and it's like bumping all right so if i just stand still right there's no bump so the best thing you can do for aim is to just stand completely still unless they're super close where the bump doesn't matter and then you can get rotational aim assist okay so if you super far over here boom i can touch it a little bit like just to just to move around a tiny bit so but if i'm moving like this it's going to be really hard to like hit him right there but it doesn't matter if you're close so boom moving to the left doesn't matter also too guys you want to make sure that you are concentrated on the white dot most of the time okay so if i'm really focusing on aiming in on somebody and i want to make sure that I'm, I'm super good at aiming in i just laser beam that white dot with my eyes right so i'm just staring at it okay precisely on the guy boom let me stare at that white dot go to the next guy boom Go to the next guy, just locking it in. And if you guys really struggle to aim, I would say for a long time, you should, uh, maybe for like a month, right? All you need to do is stare at the white dot over and over and over, and that is going to help you focus your aim onto things. Now, me, I've been playing this game for like three, four years, right? Warzone, whenever it first came out. And this is so, so easy for me. Like, it's built in my mind so much with the muscle memory that I don't even need to look at the white dot. I could just look anywhere, and then I can pretty much just get the kill. Right, because my mind is so focused on the white dot that it's just super natural for me to already have it on top of the person. So when you're first starting out and are trying to get like really good aim, like the top one percent aim in this game, focus your eyes on the white dot the whole time. It's like your best friend here. Okay, so doing the fast sensitivity, slow sensitivity, white dot, aim at the chest, and then just hold down for the recoil control if you have really fast input delay. All right, just that simple now i am going to start talking about high sensitivity um and how it kind of relates to everything i just said because everything is all about low sensitivity right here if you are playing on a higher sensitivity so i'm just gonna put seven seven which is high for me every single concept that i just talked about every single like movement or just the way i did things is exactly the same so if i'm on fast sensitivity i want to go aim at that middle guy okay i'm going to go slide here then i'm going to go fast slow shoot it's the same exact process with high sensitivity right right go to the next person boom so it's the same thing aim right there let me hit the last guy and i'm still really <laughs> i can still hit shots really well there um now i will say that the reason why you guys definitely shouldn't play high sensitivity too not only is it easier to miss shots but when you're on a higher sensitivity you have to focus your mind so much on not missing your shots okay so <laughs> it like puts more pressure on um your mind to actually be like okay let me just hit every single shot because i just turn on them super fast with the high sensitivity and make sure i don't miss well now you're using all of your brain power on just hitting your shot when you could be using it to actually think of a plan to escape the situation think where you're going to move next think about is he going to slide cancel or go somewhere else so 
if I'm on a really low sensitivity, like I said, with all this muscle memory being that it's so easy for me, then as I'm shooting somebody, I could just be like, okay, I shot him, where should I go next? And then once I kill him, I go to the next place. Um, or okay, he's shooting, I'm shooting this person, but I hear someone behind me. So as soon as I'm done killing him, I'm going to drop shot, turn around. Right? So when you play on a super low sensitivity, and it's super easy to control stuff, then you can use up some of your brain power to actually think of other things that you should be doing in this game. Okay, this is why when I switched to super low sensitivity, I became a lot smarter player. And I wasn't doing a lot of dumb things that I was doing on higher sensitivity. So it's the same exact process with high sensitivity. It's just it does free up your your mind when you do play on a lower sensitivity next i'm going to talk about swapping targets so if there's these two people right here um if i'm going to kill them one after another this is this is pretty much what i would do 90 percent of the time all right so i'm aiming at this guy right here i aim i shoot him and then you want to unlock next guy aim in you don't want to just go kill him right there swap to him right there all right and as I mentioned before, you're going to use your slower sensitivity to actually go to this target right there. And not only is it slower to get to him, but if he runs in another direction, it's harder to track him like that. So if you kill somebody, get out, aim in, boom, you're going to get it better like that. And if that is like, if it's too much movement for the gun that you're going to miss shots right there, because I just went like this, killed him and went like that, then you can kill this one guy, right? And then go back, reset it, and then use the same exact formation to actually kill the next guy. Okay, so you don't want to be swapping left and right like this. You don't you don't want to do that most of the time unless it's like unless he's like turned around, you can't really shoot him. Most of the time you just want to be like aim, boom, like that. Alright, that's going to give you like the best advantage to actually hit your shots and kill people. Especially if you have bad aiming overall and you can't really track people. Okay, because you're really locking that in with the ADS sensitivity right there. So that's what I would say about swapping targets when you go boom, 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 and it gives you really good um, aim right there. The next thing I'm going to talk about right here is your movement. So now your movement can actually set you up to hit your shots better. And you guys need to focus on slower movement to be able to hit your shots. I have pre-made a video on this concept already. I'll probably just post it just for like a quick video so people who haven't seen this video can watch too. Um, but pretty much in that video, I do explain that the slower your movement is, the better you are going to be able to hit shots. Okay, so if I'm slide canceling around this corner, if I go slow... It's super steady to the point where I can just gradually lock on to this person right there, right? So slow. And you see like how smooth that is. It's like smooth, boom. Smooth, boom. So the slower you go, the better it is to aim at people. And this is not a bad thing. It's not like, oh, you're going so slow that you're going to get killed because you're too slow at the game. No, if you're in a sliding motion and doing long slides then you're already giving that peeker's advantage. You're already surprising the person. So it's better to just focus on hitting your shots instead of being like, I'm going to go super fast and then aim at him. Because you see what I did right there? I went so fast that I started aiming right here. And then I looked at him. So if you just gradually do it like this, instead of going super fast right here, you're going to be a lot more consistent in this game. All right, so for your movement side, focus on lo long slides. All right, so long slide... Boom, long side, boom, long side, boom. And then if I was using my sub, long side. Oh, dang, I just missed every shot there. The guy bumped me. All right. Boom. Long side there. Do it again. Boom, long side, boom. All right, so for your slide cancels, focus on long sides. Uh, right there if you guys are drop shotting this is just something you got to get down over time with muscle memory so aim at the chest first drop shot boom next guy it's best to just aim at their chest and then drop shot um, instead of like aiming at the, a bad part and then dropping shot and shooting them uh, because like I said, if you're using that reticle to lock onto their chest and then you drop shot, we're already locked onto the chest. So it's easier to hit your shot. Whereas if you're just coming off of it, you don't see him. Then you drop shot and look like this. You can still pull it off very well, but it's going to be a lot harder than if you just lock on the chest first, 
and then kill him. So let's just say I see this guy, and then he sees me, and I want to drop shot him. Boom. Like that. Or we can pre-aim it a little bit, so... Boom. Like that. All right, but you don't you don't want to be aiming at the wrong spot and then drop shotting because you're gonna you're gonna mess up your aim for the drop shot. All right, so any movement really, just make sure that you you set yourself up and do slow and organized movement that's gonna be able to hit your shots in this game. So that is pretty much every single thing that I would have to say about aiming overall. If I was a brand new player and I explained every single thing I just said to you know my brand new self, then I could pretty much just get a get aiming like that like it would be so easy for me it would be something that i can learn over and over to retain the muscle memory for everything i talked about and i would be amazing at the game so a few things that i would say to like practice this if you just if all this stuff is new to you and you don't understand or you didn't understand about like the slow sensitivity fast sensitivity how you should just lock onto the chest and use like gradual settings and stuff i'm going to show you how uh you should be able to practice that to have the best aim in this game So first I would say get like a, a sniper or a marksman. I'm actually going to use, let's just say XRK Stalker, right? I'm not going to put anything on it. Just use it like that. So you want to have a sniper or a pistol. But this is what I do right here. So I aim the die at the chest, aim in, shoot, right? So quick scoping. Boom. Boom. I missed it a little bit there. But my placement was on point. All right, that is going to give you um, a lot of muscle memory because if you're doing that like a hundred times, right? If I'm just doing this a hundred times, then what happens is once I switch to a weapon, I'm kind of using that quick scoping motion. Boom, right? Boom. I'm going to do it again. Boom, right? I'm doing the same motion with the sniper. And with the sniper, you're doing it with one shot over and over. So instead of holding it, you're just tapping it. So just tapping it. Bam. 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 See? Do that 100, 200, 300, 400 times. Just do that over and over and over. And then swap to weapon. And then... And then just do the same thing, but hold it. And you're going to notice that you're going to get a huge increase in just hitting your shots and getting a lot of aim assist. All right. And then to also make it more precise, you can do that with a sniper. so Or not a sniper, a pistol. So just aiming in. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Bam. All right? Super easy like that. I would suggest, yeah, like, doing this with the pistol a lot, too. Because if you're spawning in with just a pistol, well, then, now you're a threat. <laughs> now you're a threat in the match because you don't have a weapon. But you can still kill somebody with their full loadout if you do enough, like, movement or catch them off guard. And you hit all your shots. Right? Because this guy has full plates, right? And I have, like, one of the starting pistols. So, I just killed him that fast with just a pistol. Right? Bam. Killed that guy super fast. I broke that guy's armor. And I'm popping over. So once you guys get really good aim in this game, then all you need to use is a pistol. Right? People could have full-on loadouts and, you know, you do one movement thing to break the camera. And now they're dead right there because you have amazing aim in this game. Okay? So practicing with the pistol. And then sniper. Bam. 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 And then using the regular gun. Bam. Right, so that's that right there. Now there are there is something that I never talked about yet, which has to do with your aim, and that is the field of view. Okay, so I'm a 115 right now. Um, the higher you go, the less visual recoil you're gonna have, so it's gonna be easier for you to actually aim and shoot at people. Um, as far as controlling the recoil. But if you do go a little bit lower, you do get more aim assist, right? So I would keep it around the 115, around the 115 area, because you're gonna get really good recoil control on top of having some aim assist with that as well. So that's why I stay on 115. You guys can definitely go 120, 117. Maybe if you want to go a little bit lower, play 113, somewhere around there. All right. Oh. But um, just keep it around that range. Don't go anything lower than that because it is really gonna hinder your ability to actually have good recoil. Okay. Another thing I forgot to mention is keep your weapon field of view on wide. So if I put it on narrow, you can see that the gun is a lot bigger, which is going to be harder for uh, recoil control. So keeping it on wide is going to make sure that, where is it, that you are having better recoil control for that. 
and that's just going to be a lot better overall. So I'm put it on 120 just so you can see visual recoil effect. Boom. Boom. Hit it with the sub right there. Bam. Actually, I was able to, I think I was able to hit the farther guy a little bit easier because I had more recoil control uh, than I was on 115. But I, I definitely had less aim assist right there. I had to rely more on like raw skill to shoot him. Now I'm going to go into some of the attachments that you should have for your guns. Because if you have a horrible gun, a lot of this like aiming stuff is not going to be good for far range. All right. So the things I highly recommend, I think it's called Cast's Break, Cost's Break, whatever, or Barrel. Yeah, Bit Break, Cost's Break. Uh, okay. I use this almost on almost every single assault rifle. So really reduces the horizontal horizontal recoil so that you're able to just focus on the up and down recoil instead of the left and right okay uh brew and heavy support i put this on almost all my ars mainly because it does the most for horizontal gun kick everything like that as well so most of your assault rifles should have at least these two costs brew and heavy support all right and then a lot of them obviously are going to have a drum so same formula costs brew and heavy drum and then the the next two attachments are going to be a little bit personal preference or just tuned to your specific assault rifle. So typically the longer barrels work uh, really good for recoil control, but there's some weapons like let's just say the ram, right? <clears throat> Where you go in the ram and you look at the barrel for the ram and you can see it has a few different options, all right? So it has uh, recoil control, gun kick, and then aiming idle sway. This one has gun kick, aiming uh, idle sway and stuff like that. Recoil control, uh, sprint to fire speed. So there's like multiple options for this. Whereas for some guns, there are only, there's only like one option for recoil control. So it's obviously this one instead of this one, because this one's actually going to hurt the recoil instead of help it. All right. So guns like these really have like only a few options, common sense, you know what barrel to put on. But I would say for a gun like the Ram, you could just test out the multiple recoil control barrels, but I usually go, uh, but I usually go for whatever has the max recoil control. Okay, so this one has, I do open the stats here, right? So if I go for recoil control, this is 9%, 14%, and 14% uh, right over here, right? So wait, this one, 9, 14, 14, that's how much it reduces it. This one is 5, 8, 7, 4, 8, 7. All right, and then these ones are what? Not good. So you could see by the numbers, I'm going to pick the heavy barrel okay some people like the core i understand that because it helps with effective damage range but for best recoil control the heavy is going to help me the most all right this is what's really going to help me so that is what i do for the barrel portion on any of the assault rifles i use and then you could either put a grip or a stock unless you do have to put an optic for that right there okay so this one this just has like look 10%, 12%, 12%, but if I was to put uh, an attachment, it would have 10, 7, 7, okay? So that means I'm going to pick the stock over the grip to get the best recoil control. Now, for the optic to get, you know, really good e recoil control, I always recommend using iron sights if you can, and that is because you are going to get less visual recoil and more ADS speed if you are using an iron sight. So if I'm aiming at this person, right? So, oh, snap, that was way off. Aiming at this person. Less visual recoil right there. Okay. Now, if I put a, if I put a scope on it, so I personally like to use, what is it? The, I forgot the name. Corio Eagle's Eye, right? I, I use that on most of my ARs when I do use the sight. You could, <laughs> I'm shooting circles around that guy. But you can see that it jumps more, right? At least with these att attachments, it jumps more. So I'm aiming at this guy. It's more recoil. If I just focus on controlling it, I can like hit every bullet. So I'm going to try it again. Wait. Hitting almost every, almost every bullet right there. But this is why I recommend using no sight. Because if you use no sight, uh, I'm able to put that recoil control stock again. And then I take that same guy, aim at him. Boom. It's like a lot easier for me to control and hit him right there. Okay, so don't don't try not to use the sight unless you you really need it or if the iron sights are just super horrible that you have to use a long range one, right? So definitely don't use that one 
Or, I mean, you can go a little bit lower. So if I'm not using that, most of the time, uh, I might use the... The MK3 reflector. All right, so... Was it this one or was it the other one? It was one with the blue dot, right? Just whatever has like a nice clean scope like this. That usually helps me out like really well right there. Now you can see like I'm hitting like every single bullet with that right there. All right, so if you need to use a sight, you could use the, the Quirio or you can use any sight that has like a clear picture and then you could uh, see a small dot because that's going to help with your recoil control from far away. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, take that off. And if you did notice, like if you pay cl close attention to detail, you do see that I'm missing slightly more shots on the 120 FOV. But if I go back to 115, then my recoil control and hitting my shots is going to be so much easier. So that guy, he's, he was all the way down there. And I was missing like maybe four or five bullets each time I attempted to kill him on the 120 FOV. I go back to this one. Damn, I missed like two shots right so um the 115 fov is extremely good for that um but this is pretty much every single thing i have to say about aiming in this game uh if you do you know the the drills that i talked about and you just focus on everything i said about having the fast sensitivity then putting it down to the slow one once you touch your chest and then making sure that you're focusing on the white dot the whole time and actually locking in each time you shoot somebody and having a low sensitivity like if you take everything i said put it all into one place and then make sure you're rehearsing that um over and over every single day you are going to drastically increase your accuracy in this game and be able to hit every single bullet on people and then once you really have that down focus on the slow movement to help you have smooth movement and then you're able to get away from gunfights and have better aim that way and you're going to be a lot better you're going to be a lot better player in this game okay so i hope this video really helped you out um i'm going to throw a gameplay actually too like right after this portion just so you guys can like see my aim see my movement you know make sure that i don't suck at the game before you take advice from me all right for the people who never watched the channel before and also uh if you guys want to get coached in warzone like if you want a personal coaching session uh you can access that in my discord or you can just connect with the community there and i do stream on twitch.tv slash the underscore fifth underscore seal gonna stream a lot more there uh haven't been streaming that much but yeah gonna be live there and i have a book too i have a i have a book on how to get better at call of duty if you want to access that as well all right but that was uh this video about everything you need to know about aiming and i hope you guys got a lot better You had it in your hands, you traded it for the, the ram behind you. Yeah.
Yo, replay, bro. Guys, I got him. Been easy for you if you just farm the lobby. Oh, 
Now I'm going to get him. He was. He was. He was. You have not like the You try to live by back, you got gas. Good job. 